Hey Castro Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today we're gonna take the ideas that we had in the live stream where I needed your help and we came up with two different ideas. And today we're gonna test those ideas. Let's get started. All right, so in the live stream, I was going over kind of a concept that I had uh, seen on another channel, it was Woodworking Channel, and I'll put that link down in the description for that channel um, where I kind of got this idea for that video. But I, he was using wood and I wanted to use PVC board, and there were some aspects that we were trying to work out um, with the PVC board. And we came up with two different designs, and if you didn't see that video, go check that out. I'll have a link in the description for that as well for the live stream, so you kind of see the design, how we did it. We used the Tinkercad and some other aspects of it when we were doing this design, and you also see me drawing it out. So kind of getting some ideas of what we wanted to do on this build. Now, I already pre-made the box itself, except for the lid, because you've seen me make a box before you don't need to see me make another box um, but i've done this one a little bit smaller i've used the the hidden hinges on the inside of it as well and so that just makes it really nice and i've just left it completely flat usually i do it with like a 15 degree angle on the lid but i didn't do that on this one because it's so much smaller and i just think you know i don't need to do it on this one we'll do it just straight flat especially with having to do these modifications because this modification is a hidden magnet latch and I'm not using the baby latch, which you could, but I'm not gonna be using a baby latch for this one. I wanted to use something different. Um, we're gonna be using this nail, and as I, as I gotta take it off here, but I actually have part of one of the pieces that we designed for this aspect of it. And I did this and printed this up on my 3D printer. It took maybe five minutes to print. It took probably almost longer for the printer to warm up and get ready to prep as long as it took this to print. So I did one piece here which has the hole in it. And then I also did another piece, and this piece here has just, it's, it's full, it's just round, and this is more like a cap. Um, I didn't go out and get a PVC cap that we're, those we're talking about, or a plug that we were talking about on the live stream, but I just went ahead and printed one myself, and so to be able to do this, and I did it in green so you can kind of see how they are in this white. These aren't gonna be the actual pieces that we'll be using. But first off, I need to do is take my lids and I got two tops here uh, because we're going to do this two different ways and I'm going to go ahead and get the measurements of this and then I'm going to go throw them on the drill press and we'll go ahead and get these uh, drilled out to the way we want to test them. So now I've got the two tops now ready to go onto the box itself. And I used the drill press and I've got that hole really nicely in there. Now, and the reason why I did two lists, one, we're gonna come in from the top. So the nail itself is gonna come in through the top and then we're gonna put the plug on the top there. So when you use the magnet, it'll pull up, up here. Now, and then the other one, comes in from the bottom. So it's basically the same thing, but two different ways. I just didn't know if I would, if it would be better to plug the top or if it would be better to do the bottom. So two different ways that I could do it. So that's why we're testing it two different ways, which way is gonna work better. The next thing I need to do is this nail. This nail needs to be completely flush with when it's actually, when it comes up. So when it comes up, it needs to be completely flush so that it will not um, rub against the, the piece. So what I need to do now is go ahead and take the nail, get it to where it's gonna be, and I'm gonna be using two different nails because they're gonna be a little bit different on each one. So two different nails, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that measurement real quick and go ahead and use a hacksaw and cut this nail itself. All right, so now I've got both of the nails set for each of the lids. Uh, one's for, of course, coming in from the top. The other one's gonna be coming up from the bottom. So I've got those, these set. And now the next thing I need to do 
is actually go ahead and set where the pin's gonna go or where the nail's gonna drop into the door. And on this aspect, I'm just gonna use the one with the hole from the top and I'm gonna place that in there where I want it to go. Now I'm pretty confident that we have the same location on both pieces. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of get it all squared up where I want this to go. And I'm gonna take a nail and I'm gonna push it through, through that hole, through the top, and just kind of mark it. All right, so that's where the hole's gonna go in this top lid. And as you can see here, that's where, where, it's, where it's gonna be marked, right there on the top of this one. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm not gonna use the drill press on this one. I'm actually gonna use my hand drill and I'm just gonna kinda do it nice and slow and just get that depth in there really quickly. And it's gonna be a little bit bigger so that has, it'll have a little bit of wiggle, but it's not gonna open it up. So let's go ahead and get that drilled out. All right, so now the hole is in the lid itself. And the next thing I need to do is go ahead and put the nails into the tops. And that way, the, that locking pin will get those set in there. So that's gonna be next. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, secure the first one to the top of the box. And I'm just gonna use some screws on this one so I can switch them out pretty quickly. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go ahead and get the nails into place on each of these lids. Okay, so now I've got the first one in and I'm doing the one from coming from the top um, and it it's already pretty tight. I can't get that open, which is great. That's what I wanted to do with it in place. When it down in place, it's not gonna open. And I, that is awesome. So next, I have a one of my magnets and this is a rare earth magnet, so it's a pretty strong one, but I'll have to do some tests to see which other ones, but I wanted to make sure that this did it right on this one, so let's go ahead and slide it over. I heard it click and there it opened. Oh, wow, that is really good. See, at, on the bottom of this, it, it pulls that nail just perfectly up there, really nice. And I can close the door and remove it. And that is back and locked. So once again, open in there. So when you remove it, the magnet, as you can see, that nail just drops. And when it comes back in, it just pulls it right back up. That is really great. That is exactly what I wanted this one to do. Now, let's go ahead and test the next one. All right, so now I've got the next one in, and as you can see, there's no plug at the top. It's actually on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is now, let's go ahead and get the magnet again, and let's run it over. See if we, it works. See if I can hear it. There it clicked. It took a little bit, a little bit more to get it to click but I can slide it open and it opens as well. So once again, I can pull it and see how that nail just kind of drops. And it's just sometimes getting it right to the right spot of where it's gonna come up. So it does click, it does right there. So let me go ahead and retrieve it and bring it back. And it is locked in place. It's not gonna come out. I really do like that. Um, I don't know which one I like better. Uh, so I'm gonna need your help. Which one do you like better? Do you like it coming the sealed from the bottom? and it drops that way where you don't see any of the stuff from the top or drilling it from the top. I wanna know, you gotta leave me a comment down below because I don't know which way I like better. Um, it's pretty easy to either one of them. The, the, so it's really great, I really like this idea. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do it in PVC board, of course, is because with it out in the wild, it's not gonna swell, so it's pretty much gonna already always be ready. The other thing I really like is on this one that I want to do the modification from the other one is because if I removed the magnet while it was in place and even though it was locked and I didn't have that stopper there, it would drop, the pin would drop out on the floor, ground and there's no point of it. So that's why I wanted to do it the way this came out. And I really do like this. I don't know. We'll see which way I really like better. Um, I'll kind of test each one and really do like that so let me leave me a comment down below let me know i know i'm kind of rambling here because i'm dumbfounded because this is really cool i really like this idea and i'm glad it worked the way it did so leave me a comment down below let me know which way do you like better do you like how the hole coming in from the top and putting the plug on the top or doing it from the bottom and doing the like the washer like style 
on the bottom. Let me know, leave me a comment. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm glad this test worked from our live stream that was on this past week when we started this build and doing the design. If you didn't check it out, check the description down below and there's a card up here as well, check that out. I really do hope you check that out and have fun. But hey, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.